TitleMatchNetwork.com. Jerry hired me. Jerry ran the whole thing. What are your memories of uh, the territory down there? I enjoyed it. Jerry made me a hell of a deal. I met him and he said, come down and work for me. He said, I'll bring you down Monday through Wednesday and you can come home every weekend. So he'd fly me down on Monday. I'd be there three days and he'd fly me back on Thursday. And, uh, and here's my claim to fame. I beat Jerry Lawler for the title down there, the Southern States champion. Right. He never beat me. In Memphis, he had beaten Andre. He beat everybody in Memphis. Jerry Lawler never beat Jesse Ventura. Why is that? You just never had. Uh, no, because my daughter was born and she had some severe complications. And I told Jerry I can't leave. And Jerry was very understanding. And he said, "Just FedEx me the belt." Wow. And so, unfortunately, I had to leave that way because of a personal matter. Nothing else. But Jerry Lawler understood. I liked Jerry Lawler. He was always a fair man to me. How long were you down there for? Oh, not that long. I'd go one, I'd do those three. I probably was for six weeks, eight okay. weeks, whatever it you was. You keep Stan Hansen, I think, one time down there. Yeah, I may have. And then, oh, uh, I, Jimmy Hart, me and Jimmy Hart took on Jerry and the San Diego Chicken. Right. One of the greatest matches. And I, oh, I had fun with Jerry. Because Jerry comes up and the guy was scared shitless. And the, and Who's that, Jerry? The, no, the oh, okay. chicken. Right now. And Jerry comes up and says, now look, you can't do this, you can't do that. I looked at Lawler and work at him and I says, you made that deal, Jerry. I didn't. I says, I'm going to rip his chicken head off and expose him. I'll get, I'll get press all over the United States. Right. And I had Lawler believing that I was going to go out there and rip the chicken's head thing off and expose who he was. But I didn't. I was just doing it, having fun. But, oh, I had Lawler sweating brass tacks on that one. <laughs> That's awesome. And obviously, you worked at one of the major coliseums, the Mid-South Coliseum. Yeah. What are your memories of uh, that, that historic? The moment? only thing I remember was perfectly round. <laughs> right. It That's all. I mean, you see so many arenas, you can't ask a question like that. They all start looking alike. After a while, I can't remember. All I remember is it was round. Right. <laughs> Another guy that you worked with down there was Austin Idol. To me, is one of the best talkers in the business. What are, do you remember working a little? Austin was a good talker next to me. Right. I well, I agree. I say you're one of the best, but he, he was also <laughs> another guy that was known for his mic skills. Sure, and another guy that copied Graham. Right. You know, face it, Graham had a huge impact on the wrestling business. A lot of guys, Hogan, a lot of guys. Everybody. Yeah. Spiner. Everybody. Billy Graham was the man, superstar. TitleMatchNetwork.com